Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, the original aspirin or salicylic acid or salicin was first discovered in the herbal product known as white willow bark extract or white willow extract. Now, once it was identified, scientists manipulated this compound to form acetyl salicylic acid or ASA, which we know today is the synthetic drug aspirin. But the original medicinal constituent in white willow extract, salicin, was used over many centuries to treat pain and inflammation in many civilizations. And some recent studies show that it's quite effective in treating various joint inflammatory conditions, as well as painful menstrual cramps or dysmenorrhea, as it's known. And unlike acetyl salicylic acid, sort of the synthetic aspirin, and other synthetic anti-inflammatory drugs, it doesn't cause stomach irritation, intestinal bleeding, and it doesn't significantly inhibit blood clotting. Therefore, it has fewer, if any, side effects. Now, many people are looking for an alternative to aspirin, as we know it today, and other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs because of their damaging side effects on the stomach, intestinal tract, risk of bleeding disorders, liver damage, kidney damage, as well as their documented effects on promoting high blood pressure and congestive heart failure. So in 2022, Drugs.com provided an update on all the relevant research related to white willow extract as an alternative. They state that the medicinal use of white willow dates back 6,000 years. Ancient civilizations used white willow uh, tree extracts to treat pain, inflammation, and musculoskeletal conditions. Although salicin is considered the major active constituent, there's research showing anti-cancer activity of polyphenols and flavonoids, which are also found in white willow bark extract products. Now regarding its anti-arthritic properties, the salicin from white willow extract has been shown to inhibit inflammation by blocking key, a key enzyme involved in the inflammatory process that's known as cyclooxygen type 2. And in white blood cells, it also blocks the release and activity of inflammation-promoting cytokines, which is of great importance in the management of, of managing autoimmune conditions that affect the joints like rheumatoid arthritis. So experimental cancer studies have shown that salicin inhibits the growth of various human-derived cancer cells in a dose-dependent manner, meaning that the higher the dosage of salicin, the greater the, the cancer growth inhibition effect. But regarding arthritis specifically, Animal, animal models show that white willow extract showed, uh, slowed the development of osteoarthritis by reducing the release of important inflammatory cytokines and nitric oxide. Now, several human clinical trials involving osteoarthritic patients has been undertaken, and it's been shown that white willow extract is effective in reducing pain and inflammation when tested against standard anti-inflammatory drugs like diclofenac or Voltaren. Not only did arthritic patients realize the same pain relief as the group receiving the standard anti-inflammatory drugs, but the white willow extract group reported fewer side effects like stomach irritation and intestinal pain. Now, a 2013 study looked at the effectiveness of white willow extract in rheumatoid arthritic patients and showed reductions in mean pain intensity within the first three weeks of treatment according to both the patient and the physician rating. The pain reduction remained in effect at the six-month mark with about a 45% reduction in pain intensity compared to the original baseline measurement. That's a significant reduction in pain in people that have rheumatoid arthritis. The researchers noted that during the six-month treatment course, the white willow extract supplement was well tolerated. No adverse effects were reported in this study of 436 patients suffering from rheumatoid arthritis. Now, another double-blind study showed that white willow extract was more effective in treating dysmenorrhea, painful menstrual cramps, than a commonly prescribed non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. Women taking the white willow extract experienced less abdominal pain and pelvic pain and less pain intensity overall compared to the, the patients using the standard drug. Other studies in patients who had chronic low back pain um, when they had flare-ups, it showed that the treatment with white willow extract was effective in reducing pain, inflammation, and shortened the length of the flare-up period. So regarding dosage, if you want to try white willow extract, clinical studies evaluating the pain-killing effects of white willow extract for these different conditions used white willow extract supplements providing 
120 to 240 milligrams per capsule, but the capsule needs to be standardized to 15% salicin content. That's the active ingredient. Patients typically take one to three capsules per day, depending upon how much pain they have. The peak blood levels of salicin typically, typically occur about two, after, two hours after oral administration. So it takes a while for it to get through the stomach, the intestinal tract to be broken down, to get into the bloodstream and to get those peak levels. So it doesn't reduce pain immediately. It may take an hour or two before you start to feel significant change. As white willow extract has little or no effect, little or no effect on platelet clotting, and does not irritate or erode the stomach or gut lining, it's considered to be safer than taking aspirin, ibuprofen, Voltaren, indomethacin, Celebrex, and so on. However, there are some precautionary measures to heed, in my opinion, just to be on the safe side, and they would be as, as follows. Don't take white willow extract if you're using the drug warfarin or coumadin just to be safe. Don't take white willow extract if you're allergic to aspirin because this is a similar compound. Do not take white willow extract if you have severe asthma, a history of peptic ulcers, hemophilia, or a bleeding disorder of any kind, just in case it might inhibit platelet clotting to some degree, even though studies show it doesn't tend to do this. Children under 16 should not take white willow extract to guard against the development of Rice syndrome, just like there, you would take the precaution not to give someone under 16 aspirin. And women who are pregnant or breastfeeding probably shouldn't take white willow extract because there are no studies to see if it's safe for these individuals and the fetus. In patients with joint inflammatory problems like osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, etc., I prefer for them to take a natural anti-inflammatory supplement that combines the synergistic activity of four effective natural anti-inflammatory compounds all working together. In other words, I think the capsule should contain white willow extract and curcumin and ginger and boswellia. These four natural compounds work synergistically to help suppress the inflammatory reactions that give rise to much of the pain seen in arthritic conditions and joint inflammatory problems and possibly in dysmenorrhea as well. So I've included the reference for white willow extract from the drugs.com update in the text below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.